I thought it was a terrific game. Uh, congratulations to Wesley. Uh, they're a terrific football team and, and uh, yeah, did enough to, uh, to come out on top today. I'm, I'm very proud of our guys. Uh, I, I said this to her right afterwards. I mentioned to this last year, too, and it comes up at times. But, uh, yeah, I'm disappointed for them. I'm certainly not disappointed in them. Uh, you can't find a better group of people, better group of student athletes, uh, you know, and to play on this type of stage and play the way they did, compete the way they do. Uh, yeah, I just have a great group of guys here. And, uh, you know, the only sad thing about today, uh, of course, you want to win, but the sad thing is not being able to be with them again. So uh, it's a great team. I loved having them. And, um, you know, we'll get to work on next year. Uh, tomorrow, but uh, but today we just enjoy this team and, and what they've accomplished. I, I thought there was a lot of things that went back and forth today. It was exciting as, as you look at it, and I'm sure after we watch film and, and really analyze things, there'll be a lot of things that come up. I thought one of the biggest plays, though, was uh, late in the second quarter. Um, I think they had a third and eight, and we were about to use a timeout if, if, uh, right at the end of the half before they scored. And, uh, you know, Joe ran a quarterback draw for a first down, but if we, we get a stop there and, and a timeout and a punt, uh, you know, Things might be a little bit different. That score, their last score of the half was, was big. Um, but uh, again, I was proud of the way our guys came out in the second half and battled. And, and obviously, we got it down to a one possession game at the end. Uh, I mean, once he was tackled, I kind of had a little bit of a doubt cause, just because of uh, I, I just didn't think he got there. But I mean, I had no doubt about the play call or anything like that. I mean, we, we all fully believed that we were going to get it. I mean, I thought we all, we all played as a collective group awesome. I mean, the whole game, the defense was lights out. Having, I think, at least three interceptions in the first half, keeping us close, and then it was just, it was a, it was a, great, it was a great game, and it came out not on top. When you talk about fully believing, can you take us through any of the players? Can you take us through your emotions when you get the fumble there inside the five-yard line? It looks bad for you, then you get, get the ball back. And uh, kind of what were your emotions when you got the ball and as you drove down the field? I mean, just, just great team football, you know. It, it's... Yeah, you know, they're they're driving down the fo driving down the field, and then you know that happens. It's just great playing as a team. You know, there was never a doubt the entire game. You know, there was until they were taking the knee. There was never a doubt that we were in the game. We were gonna win the game, but um, came up short. Uh, it was, I mean, it's a hard battle. He's a great athlete. Um, he's a big kid. He's fast, and but I mean, in the first half, first quarter, it all started with pressure. The D line got some good pressure. Made uh, Callahan throw some bad balls and. I mean, we came around. We came away with three picks in the first half, and for someone who only had seven interceptions all all year, that's that's something to be proud of. But yeah, he's a great player. Um, it was a tough battle on the outside, but coach, did you feel like did you, you turn those three picks into a, into enough points at the half? No, that, that's what we'd like to uh, have done a little bit better. But I, I was thrilled with with the turnovers. Um, you know, they're they're a terrific, certainly a terrific pass pass offense, and. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if th things would change. We, we have four cornerbacks who've started games this year for us. We have two seniors who were hurt when the season started. So Michael had started and, and uh, Marcus Spearman, two underclassmen. So we, by the time we got to this point, uh, we had four guys with starting experience. We only had one practice in the last week, and that was Michael. So uh, I, was, I was thrilled at first that we were able to keep them out of the end zone. But uh, sometimes it's a matter of time when, with some of the playmakers they have. Uh, I mean, of course, you know, they always want to capitalize on the turnovers that the defense creates. But um, I mean, I guess yeah, that's team football, you know. Yeah. But I, I, we we all played together, and um, there, we never we never doubted anything. You know, we played all the way until the end, until the final whistle. Yeah, he's a phenomenal athlete. He's gotten a lot of accolades. His stats speak for themselves, and kind of just. I mean, it's difficult to go against him, and it's fun. I mean, you don't get challenges like that every week. There's one quarterback and. People say one quarterback in the country. We think two with ours, but who's that good? And what he does differently, just sees open receivers and he looks off defenders. He does a really good job with that. We were able to turn, create some turnovers, like you were saying. We had three interceptions and he threw in the first half, and he threw seven in the entire season. So I think the defense played pretty well. We obviously gave up some big plays, and that'll happen in a football game when you're going up against an experienced and athletic offense. So I thought we did a really good job of fighting the entire game. There were some times where we were down by a couple of points and it seemed like they thought they had won the game already and we kept fighting. So I think both sides of the ball played really well. I thought it was a really good team game. And unfortunately, Wesley came out on top. Well, for any of you guys as players, did this game, I mean, obviously it's a playoff game and you want to win and keep <clears> your season going, but did it mean anything to you in terms of, of, of 
get it over the hump for the program and, and sort of taking that next step um, deeper into the playoffs? Coach, at the beginning of every season, tells us our goal is to win the Centennial Conference. That's what we're trying to do every year, and we accomplished that this year again. That's four in a row for my class being a senior, and I think it's seven in a row or something like that total. So that's always good to them. That's that's our ultimate goal, and playoffs is fun, and you want to make it as far as you can. And obviously, you always want to get as far into the playoffs as you can. We've um, lost in the second round a couple of years, but I don't think it's anything where we think there's a hump. That's not something we think of as a team. It's just fun to win games, and you never want your season to end earlier than it has to. So sort of everything after the, the Centennial Conference is a bonus. A lot of fun. Yeah. Bonus football, that's what we play. call it. Bonus football. Uh, just for the players, uh, how would you just sort of sum up the season for you guys? It was, I mean, for me, it was a blast. Uh, coming off an injury last year, season that day, it was it meant the world to me to get back out there and play with these guys. And for the seniors, can't thank them enough. Um, they were great role models to me as young classmen. And uh, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna miss miss this group of guys. Keith, yeah, I think this is one of the best and most fun football teams I ever played with in my entire life. I mean, the group of guys we had going out to practice every day, competing. You don't you don't see that in a lot of programs. I know personally for me in high school. Sometimes practice seemed like a chore. It never seemed like that this year. Every day we went out, focused, have fun, and took care of business on Saturdays. And it's it's bittersweet for me being a senior, but this was any everything I could have asked for for my last season. Yeah, I mean it's just it was just it's just great to be around all these guys. They're awesome guys. Um, I mean, obviously we had a pretty good season. We came up shorter than we would have liked, but um, just. <coughs> It's just awesome people. It's awesome to have been able to meet these guys and just to be together and be a team. And, you know, we, we always held each other accountable, you know. We, there's, there's times where somebody would make a mistake, you know, but we're, we're, we're picking each other up. We're, we're telling each other what we got to do and stuff like that. And it's just, it's just a special group of guys. Jim, this is sort of part of the question I would ask Keith. With this being the third time in the second round that you guys have not been able to advance from the Missouri. Mental hurdle that you, you There's really about. not. I, I know. I know you think that. Uh, I know people write about that. But at, at the same point, our goal is to win the Centennial Conference Championship. That's what we're built for. Uh, and then, then, you know, after that, let's line it up and see what we got. So again, we, we joke around about it, but I always say this is extra football, the bonus football. When you get to the playoffs, only one team's going to finish their season with a win. We, you kind of know that going in. So uh, yeah, we, I, I give our guys some weird talks, but coming up, you got to want to play. You want to. You got to want to come up with bases loaded and two outs, and that's what the playoffs get to at that point. You know you're a good player when you want to be in those situations, and you know I think our guys, they, our guys relished being in a, in a one possession game today. It didn't work our way, and a lot of worse things happen in life all over the place. It's, we lost a football game. It's tough. It's tough right now, but uh, but to be in that position, to, be, to have that type of thrill. Uh, there's only 16 teams that have that opportunity this weekend, so I'm real, you know I think I'm hoping they they enjoy that. They won't enjoy it today, but uh, but I'm sure they'll appreciate it sometime in the future. And uh, how much will you? How long will it take you to sort of put this in the past and sort of enjoy what you guys are able to accomplish? I don't enjoy anything. I, <laughs> no, I, I mean you know I, I I the way I can't wait for next year already. But but you know every that's the neat thing about college football. Every, every each year is a, is a different challenge. But uh, but I I, I I've really enjoyed. All our teams the last several years, but certainly this team was, was fantastic and had a lot of fun. We come out to practice every day, running around, even, even the way we start practice is upbeat and t up, you know, up tempo. And, uh, and you know, our, our guys actually high five each other. They, they have different handshakes and stuff and say, say the hello. They're all coming out of labs and classes just getting there. So it's, it's a great group of guys. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, again, you always want to go as far as you can. And uh, we'll study film and see if there's a way we can advance further in the future. But it's not something that, that, um, yeah, you know, I, I don't see it as a big hump or anything else. You, you, you get matched up, you play who you can play, and, and do the best you can. If anything, I, I look back, you know, we've beaten teams. When I was a player here, I'm not sure if anyone ever thought we'd beat teams like Rowan and W and J uh, and Thomas Moore. And, and you know, we, we, we've hit, you know, we stubbed our foot with Wesley a few times now, but they've all been great games, so. Any other questions? Yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.